Russell Wilson's out of the NFC West. How does that affect the Niners standing in? Is this a two-team division? It's a two-team division. I have no faith in the coaching of the Cardinals or in Kyler Murray. I really don't. Uh, Kyler Murray has a lot of talents, but I just feel like that team is very dysfunctional. I feel like he's dysfunctional and he's a prima donna. And as an Oakland A's fan, good riddance to him. Yes. This is definitely between the Rams. It's not just the players of the teams because the Cardinals are loaded with talent. It's the coaches. This is not just a Niners versus Rams. This is McVay versus Shanahan. That's mm-hmm. what, it, what it waters down to. Those guys are going to head to head. The Rams realize that Shanahan can actually beat them pretty much single-handedly. That's where these moves have gone. With yeah. Russell Wilson going out of the division, they are looking at Drew Locke. That's who they got. I don't know if all of you know who that is. You don't need to. But the Seahawks will have to draft a quarterback or buy one. There's no doubt they will have to do that. The Seahawks are done. And I don't know if they're going to keep Pete Carroll through this rebuild, but they are in, I mean, we're talking fire, sale, rebuild. Yes. It doesn't get worse. This is one of the worst trades, I think, in NFL history. I think the Broncos completely won this trade. That yep. they could go out there and get Russell Wilson for what they did. And they said what they sent um, a decent of a defensive lineman over there. Uh, what was it? Was it a tight end or, or something? No they offense. Got, no offense. Here. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and, 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 and Shelby a, is a good player. I mean, you, but those guys, you know, they, they come and they go on a team. It's, he's not going to break through for the Seahawks and single-handedly turn them into the Legion of Boom. I mean, they got nothing, the Seahawks, for this. They really busted their, their franchise wide open by trading them for what they did. And I just don't see how Pete Carroll is going to survive a rebuild. Yeah, well, and on the one hand, it makes – the 49ers division easier, but the Niners have to face the AFC West this year. So they still have to face Russell Wilson and that AFC West, the Niners have to face every single team in it. The Raiders the got a lot are, better. The Broncos are, are, are a top three defense in yards per game. So they were number three in yards per game, number three in points per game last year. They did that with lousy offensive play and quarterback. The time of possession Literally, they were like, oh, it's three and out. Okay, back out we go. Oh, it's three and out. Back out we go. Bad field position will hold them to a field goal. What would they have been with even Jimmy Garoppolo playing for them? They would have been the number one defense. They will probably be the number one defense. Uh, What is it? Patrick Sertain, he is going to go into his second year, and he's already a dynamo. This is a good they did lose something. They did lose something key in their defense, though. Fangio. That's Fangio. true. That's yeah. true. We'll see what that's the, true, but yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll see how much that impacts them. I, I we'll suspect see. the new DC will come in and take that playbook and roll with it. Yeah, I mean, yes, possible, possible. It'll be interesting to see what the Fangio effect is. I'm not sure, but uh, Niners have a tough I schedule. I feel for Vic Fangio. I wish he'd gotten Russell Wilson at the helm. Yeah, I just wonder so, if the Niners look at their schedule, this AFC West thing, their their own division. They think, you know what? Even though the NFC's down. This is not necessarily the right year to go all in. It would be smarter to go all in next year. Do you think they're saying Like that? I said, I think they're basically saying, Trey Lance, if you want to have this, this Cinderella story, go out there and do it. Prove it, but in, yeah. But until year two, your real year two, we're just going to let things roll. And that might be the attitude they're taking. You know what? That's not a bad attitude to take. I think when you're playing it safe, they're st- they still have Debo Samuel, George Kittle. Yeah. Uh, Trent Williams, Ayuk. they still got Bosa, they, they still got all these names, Fred Warner. This is not a bad team at all. This no, is a great team. No. This is a playoff team. They will yes. be going to the playoffs. They absolutely will. They better. But it's more like they, they want them to do a, 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 an Eagles run to the Super Bowl. And if yeah. they can, that's awesome. Maybe somebody big gets injured on the Rams. Maybe, maybe, maybe Aaron Rodgers doesn't have, what well, I mean, go figure, another bad performance against the Niners. Yeah. Then Only things these happen. little things that happen, and suddenly, you know, you're like those Eagles fans that are like, we're, we're in the Super Bowl with a backup. We're going oh, to win. Or the Bengals. Or like, how did we do that? Why are we here in the Super The Bengals. So with, that they could yeah. repeat history, and that was to lose. But anyway, yeah, so that's what I think they're doing is they're, they're basically saying, look, this is a good team. We're going to be competitive. We're going to sell some tickets. Um, but yeah. bottom line is we know – Jimmy Garoppolo's and everything about that situation is gone and we'll have another draft to load up and then we'll start getting first rounders back after that. They know that, that it's really year two, three, and four that the 49ers are actually going to have the flexibility and the firepower to really keep this going. 
Abel says, would getting Austin Hooper help Lance, in your opinion, do you think they could still land Matthew? Um, I, Tyron? I, I don't think they need more receivers, uh, like more tight ends. I think Absolutely they need, not. Jawan Jennings and Debo Samuel, yeah. I'm good with that. They don't have enough targets to go around. They don't have enough targets for Kittle already, as it is. Uh, Matthew, yes, they should sign him. Do I think they will? No, because they are going with the youth movement this year. They are not all in for this year. They are a very good team that is also trying to be a little bit younger and I think try to make their big push next year. That's the way I read it. May I just point out, if we had dumped Jimmy Garoppolo or found a way to move him for anything at all, we'd have that cap space. We would have Tyron Matthew and Chandler Jones probably and Ward this year. It would have been possible to shift that around and the Niners would have steamrolled the Super Bowl. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Adrian says it really, when you start looking at I, I yeah, when you start looking at it that way, it's yeah, it's yeah. weird. Adrian says bittersweet. Niners wanted to hand Wilson led Hawks a pair of L's and send him out that way and start Lance era in that fashion. Well, I see what you mean. Josh, Russell Wilson is a great quarterback. He's gonna go have a good career in Denver. Joshua says, I can't stop thinking about how to upgrade the pass rush and keep Armstead inside. Need a D Ford replacement. Is there an option still out there? So Darius Smith. They're not gonna do it. I would it is yeah, and that would that would sign him away from a good team as well, which would yeah. also be nice. That affects us in the postseason. Eugene says free agent signings have fortified special teams, improved a weak phase. Kasha and never prioritized special teams before. Safety, O line, and we are pretty stacked. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad, no. And there's nothing I mean, both of us were saying it earlier, there's nothing wrong with a good special teams. I mean, we all know Green Bay would be the first one to tell you what happens when you have a bad special teams, but Still, it, it is reflective of almost back when the Niners had Chip Kelly and they addressed these fringe needs like that, essentially. And it was like, okay, these are solid. We're going to be solid in, in this phase. And, and, and in two, three, four years, it'll pay off. So that's, that's all indi indicative of the fact that this is not the year, basically. Yeah. Matt says, with any luck, the Browns will refuse to trade Baker to the AFC. Time to desperately trade the bum. Love you, Sibylla. Well, thank you. Love right back at you. Whew. All right, I gotta go write a bunch of articles and, and, and do a bunch of work. This is the cra free agency is terrible. I hate it. It's trash. Zero out of five stars. I'm trying to enjoy my weekend, and Jimmy Garoppolo is probably gonna get traded tonight, Friday night, five thirty. I'm gonna be like, oh, you know so, fine. so so we were asking when he's going to be traded. Now we have an answer. Yeah, probably so right when I'm going out to dinner tonight on a Friday night. Thanks, Jimmy. He's got, awesome. Jimmy's gonna ruin my night before before he's he's got he's got. He's going to ruin one more of my night. Hey, if he knows you're going out on a date with all the date cracks you and I have made at him, he's going to get you back.